Okay, we're picking up where we left off here. We just basically got the map in and we have Visual Studio. Oh, that's the wrong one. We can shut that one off. Yep, and when you shut yours down too, you're going to want to save that SLN file. This here was left over from when I was explaining the GitHub. And okay so yep like I was saying we got our the Visual Studio is still running and we're debugging and we're also working on the engine at the same time and I'm you know I'm not exactly for sure how all this works as far as saving stuff out because I know that you can run just the UE4 editor and save stuff and then later on launch Visual Studio and it seems nothing you know it compiles everything and everything seems fine but I've noticed sometimes when I go to save out either not having it running or with it running sometimes it doesn't save properly and I, and I know it's because I'm not in a proper sequence here of either you know having Visual Studio launched with it like I got right here or just launching the editor straight from here so um, I don't know, but anyhow, um, we're, we got a bunch of settings we need to change. We need to change some files and everything. And the first thing you're going to want to do is come up here to project settings. And under maps and modes, you're going to want to come in here and leave. I've got my, you can change this. This is the, uh, just like what it says. It's a startup map for the ue4 editor and this is the default map i have it set to another map that i made that first map that you guys seen when i loaded in but you're going to want to come down here and um your packaging when you guys first pop open this page i believe Yeah, this is going to be minimized. It's going to look like this. So you're going to want to hit this drop down arrow here. And here's your list of maps. Whatever the name of your map, where it was stored, you're going to want to add it here. I need to add, this is the map I've already gotten here. I need to add the map that we're making right now. So I hit a plus button. And you're going to want to go to where your game is located go to the maps folder and find your map and that'll tell the unreal engine to pack your map in basically because we got to package everything too so okay i believe that's everything there for right now uh yeah you want to hit the export and save and then close this out okay um just for uh, testing purposes and stuff we're going to go ahead and put in a couple spawn points real quick here um, just drag out your couple spawn points And I'm going to go ahead and just save all real quick here. While it's saving, I get another. Okay, so we need to come, we need to go in Visual Studio and we need to find Shooter Main Menu CPP. You're going to want to paste it in here and or type it in there. I've got mine on a text document so I won't forget exactly but 
shooter main menu CPP and then in this file double click in this file here you can change I changed the max bot count to 25 you can change it to whatever you want matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and just jack this up to 50 because I was playing around earlier and we need to add a couple lines of code here right here we need to copy I'm just gonna copy it you can type it out or whatever but this here we need to we need to add our map here uh, whatever you named it you need to put that in there like that and then um, we need to change this line down here as well I can just paste this in here except this needs to have the name of your map and then you want it to be a dot U map like the rest of them there <clears throat> then hit control S and um, I believe that takes care of everything there that we need for right now so um, that's all right uh, let me go back here I'm just, I already saved all and I'm trying to think what else we need here exactly I need to shut this off and recompile with that new code I put in here is what I'm getting at so I'm just gonna kill it stop debugging and then I'm gonna go ahead and just relaunch again and let it compile this time let it rebuild the project with the new code that we put in there And it, you're going to see the multiplayer shooter map when you load in. This is the because I changed the default map when I showed you guys in the project settings. But all you got to do is go file and then hit open level. And the map that you saved in there will be right in this directory. Here's my Ladrang, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to check and make sure that it's saved. Seems like it saved everything, so there's our spawn points. And okay, so so once you get a map and you're happy, you got whatever, you know, do a quick test or whatever. Um, what you're going to want to do is we need to package this. So we're going to hit File, and come over here to Package Project, go to Windows. Windows 64 and I've always left everything default as far as oh, there's a bunch of settings if you if you find them on your own I just leave it default uh, you're gonna you're gonna want I always make a folder and I always uh, name it publish and I put it uh, in the unreal wherever wherever your shooter games at I put the publish right in there where the rest of your config and content and all that stuff's at. 
So mine's already clicked on publish, so I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And this is going to pack up the maps where we saved them in, in the projects, project folder, or the uh, project settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And it's packaging the project for Windows. And if everything is right, it'll complete without any errors. And um, that it usually takes a little while. That pre-computed uh, world setting over here, like I say, uh, right here, force no pre-computed lighting. If that's unchecked, it makes the file so large that it throws an enough memory check error and it won't let you package it. Even, uh, um, you know, trying to compile with Visual Studio and everything. I'm just waiting here for the uh, the packaging project to get done here. It usually takes a little while, and this is also while this is doing this is actually creating another directory for us of folders and files. That's very important uh, for the dedicated server because we want to make sure when we're done we get our dedicated exe in this folder that it's making right now. show the output log too. Well, I'm going to pause it here, and uh, I'll pick up when this is done. <clears throat>